The Appalachian Trail is a 2,200-mile-long footpath that stretches from Georgia to Maine. It passes through 14 states, and from end to end, hikers gain enough elevation to summit Everest six times. You go days or weeks without a shower. You carry everything on your back, food, water, shelter, and yes, everyone poops in the woods. <laughs> on average, it takes about six months to through hike the entire trail. It took me five months and four days. When I announced my intentions to hike the trail, everyone said something like, this is gonna be such a life-changing experience. But what did they know about this experience and how it would change my life? Then again, what did I know? When I started the trail on April 10th, 2017 in Georgia, I was excited. I had the skills and I had the drive, but it didn't take me long to realize that I was missing something. I lacked a purpose. Every night, I wrote in my journal, recording my progress, the names of new friends, Names like Orphan, Ferrari, Nonstop, and Derby. Everyone on trail gets a trail name, a tradition I love as a lifelong camper. In fact, my trail name is Summer Camp. <laughs> I relaxed into the rhythm of trail life. Hike, eat, sleep, repeat. But as I wrote in my journal every night, I got the feeling that I was waiting for something to surface. I was waiting for my purpose to present itself. Well, 344 miles into my journey, I was pulled off trail by the demands of life, or in this case, the demands of death. On a beautiful day in May, my father had chosen to end his own life. As I drove back to Atlanta with a family friend, it took us four hours to drive what had taken me four weeks to hike. As I watched the mountains slip past, I thought, this is not the end. Dad would not want this to be the end of my hike. I returned to the trail after two weeks at home, but the life that I had recorded in my journal had moved on without me. All of my friends were nearly 200 miles ahead of me. I was alone. And every morning, I woke to the pain of my father's absence. I had to find ways to deal with this on my own. And there was one thing I knew I could do every day, move. One step, one mile at a time, just keep moving forward. On trail, we have a saying, hike your own hike. It means do your own thing, live your life. My hike became a speed race. But as I increased my mileage every day, I got the feeling that I was running away from something. I was trying to outrun my grief. And while I was at it, I passed through bubble after bubble on trail. A bubble is a loose concentration of hikers traveling at about the same pace. Luckily for me, some really amazing people were able to keep up with me from time to time. I added new names to my journal. We made lasting connections, but the vast majority of my time was spent alone. I never knew what a day on trail would bring me, but from the moment that I woke up, to the moment that I passed out in my hammock at the end of the day, my own company was the only constant. My journal now was filled with poetry, stream of consciousness writings, affirmations addressed to the cells of my body. Thank you. You're doing a great job. Keep it up. I was learning to look inward and to lean on myself. When I got to Connecticut, I caught up with a friend who I hadn't hiked with since my dad died. We hiked together for a month, and he made me laugh every day. I slowed down a lot, but eventually we had to separate. And as I hiked away from my friend, I no longer felt that I was running away from something, and I did not feel alone, because I had come to a realization that there was nothing to escape and I was exactly where I needed to be and with the perfect person. I was outside and I had me. I would not have finished the Appalachian Trail without the love and support of family and friends or the people that I met on trail, but I would not have thrived without the relationship I developed with myself. You don't need validation from other people to be a fully functioning superhuman. You can give that to yourself. You also don't have to through-hike the AT to find yourself. 
you're in there. So 2,200 miles, five months, four days, one step, one mile at a time. I thought I was running away from something, but I ended up running into myself. And it doesn't end when the trail ends. This is my journey. What's yours? You will be surprised by what or who you discover when you hike your own hike. Thank you.